guys, good morning. This is Medjo Boy, and today's episode will be a reaction video for Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Yes, currently the telecast is writing. Yes, and this is over GMA 7. So please join me and my titas, Atilis and Tita May, probably later on, will be joining us for this live reaction video. As we okay? all rise together to face a new dawn. The most empowered and passionate wow, women are about to conquer their fears. Reach for their dreams and create your own mark in history. This is Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Miss Universe 2020. Sana walang... Ha? Sana walang... Bisaw. Sana walang copyright to. Walang copyright sana to. Ah, okay. So, si Jessica Sanchez pala yung singer nito. In fairness, yung ano nila, yung production number, music, is lively. I thought, hindi siya magiging lively. Cristela Bello, Aklan! Ay, so... Hindi ka tilis! So yung production number nila for your introduction Yung introduction nila, recorded na. So, walang mic sa... Walang mic sa ano. Furnace, ha? Guapa si Alaysa dito. Asa man ni siya siya? Davao. Davao del Norte! Oriel Joyce Pasqua, General Santos City. Adelma Cristel Benigta, Iloca Sur. Oh, man, na may swimsuit. Rabia Oxania Mateo, Iloilo Sur. Iloilo. Oh, Iloilo de Iloilo. Iloilo Province. Maria Regina Malala, Isabella. I don't know if it's live, but I don't know if it's live, but I don't know if it's live. Laguna! Ivana Camille Sufficiencia Passes, Makati City! Lou Dominique Pixon, Mandawe! Don't have to put Mandawe. Maria Leonida Macalino, Marinduque. Marinduque. Caroline Joy Veronilia, Visamis Oriental. Mary Chris Valdez Castro, Montez Lupa. Adi Tommy Ariate Ajayama, Oriental Mindoro. Jennifer Linda Palawan. Patricia Pineda Santos, Pampanga. Maria Nina Kopuyok Soyano, Pangasinan. Isabella Rojas Ismael, Paranaque City. San Rico, Santa Maria, Pasay City. Rihanna Agatopo, Indian, Pasig City. Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabaw, Quezon City. Faye Dominic Babiero de Mesa, Quezon Province. Erica Evangelista, Rizal. Maria Fernaharan, Romlo. Carissa Kiza, Surigao del Norte. Senator Raimundo Lebanon, Taguig City. Arlene Yamota Cayona, Camuanga del Sur. 
Alright, welcome back and this is the first commercial break and I guess this time it would be announcement for the top 16. Yes. Actually, it's top 16. So this would be the top 16. Lazada's top bulk getter who will receive 100,000 pesos worth Actually, it's top 15, but one will be from the rotation from Lazada. Which happens on November 11th. Plus another 100,000 pesos cash for her chosen charity. The Lazada top bulk getter happens to belong to our first batch of contenders who I mentioned earlier, who is on stage right now. 300,000 votes of over 2 million votes altogether. She's not a man. Billy Ran. Billy Ran. Skelly, Ivy, Florida. So Billy Ran is Billy Ran. Actually, it's pronounced as Billy Ran. Education needs of the deaf ed division of the Ran. Congratulations, Ms. Skelly. You are now automatically into the top 16. This of our top 15, the envelope will be presented by Mr. Alan Ocho, partner of Cicid Gores and Valaino Company. So that's an our easy access to the top 16. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Right? That's what we gotta do. <laughs> We remain very, very safe here, yes? All right. From the first batch of candidates assigned from Miss Biliran, three women have made it into our top 16. Here we go. Go. So this is the top 16. Albay. That's Albay. Biliran. Albay. Next up, we have Miss Bohol. Bohol. Top sixteen. Aklan. Alright, moving on to our second batch of empowered contenders from this so batch. So we have Biliran, Albay, Bohol, and Aklan. From this batch, alright? And here we go with our first contender from this batch from Iloilo City. Iloilo. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. That's actually me. From Cebu City, Tracy Marine Perez. Cebu City. What's it Uh oh. And next, from Davao City, Eliza Malinao. Davao. So we have Iloilo, Cebu, and Davao now. Alright, our fourth contender for this group. From Cavite. Yes, my bet. Cebu province, April Smith. Yes, April Smith. Cebu we wait Cebu province. Mm -hmm. Wala sila. <coughs> Alright, moving on to our third batch of candidates. And remember, this is in no particular order. This is as random as it comes. Alright, so for this batch, we actually have two contenders from batch three. <clears throat> Joining the top 16, we have Kizan City. Miss Masamis Oriental. Miss Samis Oriental. Miss Caroline. 
Joy, Joy, Meraviglia. <clears throat> also making it into the top 16 from Mandawe. Yes, Sibu City, Mandawe, Sibu Province. That's right. Mandawe. <clears throat> All right, we have our final batch of delegates, and from this group, we will get five to finish off our top 16. Let's welcome to the top 16 from Tagig, Sandra Lebanon. Tagig. Congratulations, we are now down to our last four. Also joining her in the top 16. From Quezon City, Michelle Mabao. Quezon City. Here we go to our final three to round off our top 16. From Here we go. From Pasig, Rihanna Agatha, Pagindian. That's Pasig. <clears throat> All right, we are now down to our final contender to make it into the top so, 16. Let me just say that Batanis. to all of our contenders, to all of the beautiful Batanis women that so far, you have all been phenomenal <clears throat> and amazing. So let's find out who already will make it into the top 16 to have a chance at winning that crown. Are you ready? To the 57 people here. Alright, here we go, rounding it up. To the top 16, from Paranaque, Maria. Paranaque, 14. Uh, 14, sila ka walk. Mm. Walk top 16. Mm -hmm. Paranaque. Congratulations. So from over a thousand who auditioned <laughs> to the official delegates who have made it all the way here. We are now down to our top 16, so congratulations ladies for making it this far. So recap for our top 16. One of you will be crowned Miss Universe Philippines, but you have to go through some more challenges. It would not be that easy, all right? We have some more things for you guys to do to make it to the finish line, and that first test will happen in a second. We will test your <clears throat> public speaking ability and expressing your thoughts and winning our hearts all within 30 seconds. Ready or not, that's coming up next. We'll be right back. So there you have it guys, the top 16 for uh, Miss Universe Philippines. So we have the first batch were Beliran, Albay, Bohol, and Aklan. The second batch were Iloilo, Cebu, Davao, Cavite, Cavite and Cebu Province, Misamis Oriental, and Mandawi City and the final batch we have Tagig, Quezon City, Romblon, Pasig and Paranya. Sad to say hindi nadala si Batan but uh, she was awarded as best in tourism video. Good job. We will be back with the live speech for the 16 finalists and let's see sino yung mangingibang sa live speech nila. Alright, we'll be back. Bye! Few moments later. Alright, so we're back. Sana yung remote ko during one of the pre-pageant sessions, our candidates along with Miss Universe 2019 So this is the pre-speech She imparted on them that this is an opportunity of a lifetime As you journey through this, find what it is that makes you who you are Well, in a few minutes, we're actually going to have a better idea of who our top 16 finalists truly are When they get a chance to speak from their hearts and minds And we would like to emphasize that they are also allowed to communicate in any language or dialect that they feel comfortable with it, whether it's English, Filipino, their own local dialect. 
We have interpreters on standby for that. So, this is a crucial round of the competition. I will read the topic. You have 30 seconds to speak. When you hear this chime... So there is a topic for the free speech. And I will call on the next finalist. Why don't we go ahead and let's begin with our first finalist from Biliran. Hello, Skelly, how are you? Do you pronounce it incorrectly? Do you pronounce it incorrectly? That's Biliran, that's Biliran. I feel overwhelmed and I really didn't expect it to be that much. And I'm so happy and I want to thank everyone who voted for me. Thank you so much. So here we go with your first topic. <clears throat> Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal uh, woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. As a beauty queen, I know that I can be greater because we are a voice, a spokesperson to others. And as, as I stand in here, I know that I can really inspire someone, even just one person. And I know that that person can be greater, just like me. Because I am standing here representing my province with pride. And I know someone will be inspired by the things that I do. And they will also do the same in the near future. And they will be greater also. Thank you. Thank you very much, Skelly. <coughs> All right, here we go now with our second contender. Hello there, uh, Miss Albay. It says here that you love babies, dogs, and dancing. Correct. Which one do you love the most? Why do you have to choose? I'll just love all three. Okay, that works for me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a uh, topic. It's not a question. You have 30 seconds to answer this or uh, give me comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Well, to do that, I was, it was about finding myself, to know, to know what I want to do in my life, to find my core values, and then from there, instill it to other people, to make them passionate, to know what you want to do in your life, in order to become greater, to become phenomenal for the universe. Thank you so much, Ms. Albay. All right, our next contender is Ms. Bohol. How are you? We're here, Bohol. Oh, thank you for asking. How about you? Uh, oh, no one ever asked me questions. <laughs> Sorry, should I not have done that? It's okay. So I'll go ahead and read what you're supposed to comment on instead. All right, you have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. <clears throat> be a positive and lasting impact by being a role model, by embodying what it means to me to be greater. It is a constant struggle, it is a constant commitment to always work on being stronger, embracing my vulnerabilities, and knowing that I am the perfect version of my imperfect self and empowering and enabling other girls, everyone, to feel the same way. Because we are greater in our own rights. Thank you so much, Ms. Bohol, Pauline Adelix. All right, now we have Ms. Aklan, Christelle Abelio. <coughs> it says here that you have competed internationally in sports. What sport is that? Basketball and volleyball. Uh, what position? I played outside so, theater for volleyball. So this and is then Aklan. for basketball, I played, um, uh, <laughs> sorry. And then for basketball, I played um, th third point. I played bench. Uh, I, I, I don't play basketball. I'm not very good. Okay, throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. Throughout my journey, I have gr just like my sisters and I, we have all grown into the phenomenal woman that we are today. And I believe that with this journey and through this pageant, that we have all grown to really um, to believe in ourselves and to have the confidence to really extend ourselves, not just in, for our community, but for the rest of the universe. And I believe that in order to make an impact to the rest of the universe, it is our responsibility to use our platform and to use our influence Thank you. Thank you so much. Sayang. Uh, 30 seconds. All right, now we have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, uh, this comment. <clears throat> 
You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have a comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Yula Yula City, Rabia Mateo. Next up, we have Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. How are you, Tracy? I'm feeling excited. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It says here that you like flip-top culture, like the hip-hop rap battle thing. Yes, that's absolutely it. Are you ready to battle? Let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's don't do it. Let's, let's not. Let's not, let's let's not, not do it. Okay, it's I not it. a good let's idea not. for me. Okay, so here is your uh, comment, please. <clears throat> Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? You have 30 seconds. In order for me to be able to create a positive and lasting impact to the world, I would always use my experiences because that is the best possible way in order for me to be able to relate to people, to connect to people, relating with them through my experiences. I've lived a challenging life all throughout my life and I know that a lot of people all over the world will be able to personally relate to my story and if given this platform, I will be able to share that story to the world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Cebu City, Tracy uh, Marie <clears throat> Our experience next crazy. Tender is Ms. Davao City, Eliza Flor Malinao, and uh, she actually represented the Philippines and Asia's Next Top Model before, yes? Yes. So how does it feel being on the stage again here? Um, excited. Okay. Uh, just like Ate Teresa Ricardo said, I'm happy to be asked. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, your question that we need a uh, comment <laughs> on is this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Nag-appeal ko din sa pageant na gusto ko ipakita ang tinuod na ako. Um, expected din sa pageant na you have to be prim and proper and you have to speak in English. And karon na mag-story ako bisaya, gusto na ako na maghatag og way sa mga nasa probinsya na kailangan nila mag-speak up para maduhog sila maski unsang lingwahe ang ilahang gamiton. Lalo na karon na kailangan na tutabangan ng mga babae sa maski asang lugar kay maybe naas sila sa ilang balay karon o kailangan nila og tabang, kailangan nato sila maduhog. Don't like you, Alisa. Next up, Miss Cavite, Kimberly Billy Hackinson. Hello. Mm. Hi, you know what? Of everyone who has come here on stage, there's only one person who has shorter hair than you. Mm. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Are you cold? I'll get there. Oh, are you cold? <laughs> yes. All right. So warm everyone up with this answer. <clears throat> oh, nice. Bad joke? Okay. Here we go. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was a survivor of gender-based abuse. And without knowing it, maybe, so are you. And I am not here to just be a voice. I am here to amplify voices. Because we will not be silenced by fear anymore. We are here to be empowered by truth. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my bad. And now we have Cebu Province, April Smith. We'll go straight to the question. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. How can I give an impact lasting in this world right now? I simply don't stop about my purpose because I myself is a positive person and I will continue my purpose and uplift each other and up to be beyond phenomenal to the other people and I'll continue to aspire many young little April Smith to continue their dreams and to achieve their goals in life because they can be beyond phenomenal thank you thank you very Safe much answer. Province, April Smith. 
All right. Next we have Miss Misamis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I have always believed in the power of storytelling. I believe that we can be greater during this time when we share stories that inspires, that empowers, and encourages. Because when we share stories, we know better. And when we know better, we do better. And by that, we become greater. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Misamis, Misamis ha? Caroline, Joy, Misamis. 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 All right, here we go. Mandawe City, Lou Dominic Pixon. Here is the statement. We need your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is greater, uh, conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. If there's something that I learned during the pandemic, it's time is constant and there's nothing that you can do once you've already done the things that you can do today. One thing that I learned through all my life that my parents have also portrayed of me is that you can never Unless you go beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. This is something that we should take into account if we were to be conditioned for a greater. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Mandawe Sidi. Yeah. All right, next up, Miss Tagig, Sandra Lemanon. All right, here is the comment. Please give us your opinion on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. My greatest contribution that I can give is speaking about mental health. I've been through a lot in my life and a lot of struggles. I deal with depression, anxiety, and abuse. And what I want to say to anyone who's ever dealt with this is that don't be ashamed about it. Don't hide. Please share, because we need to hear these stories. We need to um, communicate together, have open communication in our households, and that's how I'm going to contribute as a phenomenal woman. I want to be authentic and truly myself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Tagit, Sandra Lamano. All right, here we go with Ms. Quezon City, Michelle Gababao. Let's see, Michelle. We need your comments on this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. The volleyball court was the first ever stage I walked on. And uh, I know that God is using me to share my passion for the sport to the younger generation. This is how I know that I am phenomenal and conditioned for greater. Because I want to instill in the youth qualities like faith, passion, hard work, and discipline because I stand here today as proof that these can help you achieve your dreams. And I'm here to tell you to fight and never give up and be relentless in the pursuit of your dreams. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Quezon City, Michelle Gumaba. Okay, Michelle. All right, Good now we move to Miss Roblon, <laughs> Marie Fe Taran. All right, here is your statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. I was born and raised in a small town of Calatrava, Romlan, where life is simple and happy. But this global pandemic changed everything. It created chaos and lost millions of lives. But we Filipinos are resilient. And that was I'm very proud of. And that is why I want to encourage everyone to keep continuing the Bayanihan spirit. Because that what uh, make us Filipino. And I'm proud to say I am Filipino. Thank you so much, Ms. Roblon. All right, moving <coughs> on to Ms. Pasig City, Rihanna Pangindian. Here is the statement. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. Being a Filipina and being a candidate of the first ever Miss Universe Philippines, I have went through a lot of challenges that shaped me to be who I am today. And I stand here representing everyone who has been overlooked 
and underestimated. I believe that everyone is everyone can be conditioned for greater if they believe in themselves and keep the faith. And as I win this, uh, as I hopefully win this year. Sayang. Thank you so much. Round of applause for Miss Pasig City. Alright, we are now down to our last Paranyake. Our top 16, Miss Paranyake. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Time starts now. One of the things that I've learned that is valuable is actually staying true to yourself and being as authentic as you can be no matter where you are. And that's something I learned as I went on in this journey. And I'm very thankful that I've been able to really realize that. I'm thankful that I am who I am today. I am thankful that I am able to show you all exactly who I am. And I can't wait to continue doing that and hopefully inspire more people to be themselves as well. Be proud of who you are and that's the most that you can do for everybody and for yourself. Thank you so much. Round of applause, Miss Paranyaki Marie Isabella Ismael. There you have right. our top 16. So you have your bet. I have my bet na based on that. So there you have it, guys. The top 16 on the free speech. So you have your bet because I do. I have Beliran. I have Bohol. I have Iloilo, Cavete. Miss Sam is Oriental. She is well spoken. And I also have Michelle. Pero sayang na naabota ng time si Michelle. Romblon is okay and Paranaque is also okay. So hopefully, yung mga na-mention natin, mapa, mapasok siya sa uh, top 5. But up next will be uh, the swimsuit competition. So, bye for now!